Hey everyone, today we will be creating this new way of loading your application where we display a video when you land on the page and then remove it once the page loaded in. So I can refresh again, so you see this video plays and suddenly zooms in and the transition kicks in to fade away. To get started, I have an Edge.js application ready and I added a video file we will be using for this. So the first step will be is to create a new folder called components and I will create our video review component. Now this will be a really short and really simple component. What we will do is we define video review. And for now we are not passing in any props or anything and we're gonna export it. And when it comes to returning we will wrap it in a div and inside the div we will have a video which will have a couple of attributes so we're gonna say autoplay and mute it we don't want if you have any sound on the video we don't want to play that we're gonna add some class names so we want full width full height and object cover Inside the video, we will have our source, which will point to our uh, door.mp4. And the type of the video will be video slash mp4. And let's add the styling to the main div. And just say class name equals position fixed, top zero, left zero, full width full height, add some C index. This we want it for now, but we'll add it in, in advance. Is transition opacity and duration 500. We will use this to make the video reveal interaction a bit nicer, but for now we should be able to test it out. And then we go back to our home page and we can import our video reveal and now we can go and test it out in the browser. So if you refresh, then you see a video starts to play when you land on the page. And that's it. So this is where the video ends. Now we want to improve this a little bit because right now if a user lands on your page, they see this fancy, maybe not so fancy door video. After that, they won't have any way of interacting with your website. So now we will add some interactivity. So first, I will load, I will add the flag in here to check if the video is playing. And once the video is done, play, done playing, I want to, I, I want to unmount my component. So is video playing? Set is video playing. Equals use state. And it's true by default because you land on the page, this video is gonna play. And in here, we can just wrap it in. Is video playing? To reveal. Otherwise, door. And I will also add one more thing. Right now, if your video is done playing, you have no way of knowing when to flip this. So we will add in a prop to this video reveal component. I will call this on video end. And this will be a function that we call. So in this scenario, I just want set this video playing to false. Now we can go back to our video review component and add all this in. So first we're gonna receive a prop, which will be on video end. Video review props. On video and and that will be just a function that returns nothing so that's one thing less but now we also need to know when to call this function so the next step will be to add ref to our div and we will use that to target our component with some class names 
then the state changes. So use rough and defaults to null. And because we will pass this to our div component, I'm gonna define this as HTML div element or null by default. And after that, we can go to our video. And luckily, our video has a built in event called on unended. So we can use this to call the callback function. Now, I haven't defined this yet because we want to do more than just call this. We also want to add a bit of transition to make this whole flow a bit nicer. So I will go next and define this handle video ended function. Now, what we will do here is we're going to get our div that's inside our ref and we want to add to the class list two extra classes. So when the video ends, I want opacity to be zero and I also want to disable any events when it's transitioning because right now users might be clicking on it or anything so we don't want that. And I will just set a timeout to call the video end and I set it to 500 millisecond because this is 500 millisecond and if you look at here I set this to 500 milliseconds too. So once the transition is done that's when our component will be unmounted. So we get this smooth sort of interaction and I will add in one more extra on the div, on the div this um, on click component. If you are impatient or anything with this simple definition I give you the option to skip the whole video reveal because if this is a site you might be landing on 10 times a day you might be sick of it after a while right so this way the user has the chance to skip it so now let's check if it works um, everything should be good uh, one more thing that we might need because we are using use state so this one needs to be a client component but if we go back you can see now it's loading 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 and and you can also see the opacity gradually reduces until it's zero so the video doesn't just disappear under a blink but it slowly fades out give it, give it a more premium feel you can obviously change this video to anything as you want you can add sound to it if you want you can play a gif so the options are, are really limitless if you want just a simple image that can also work but basically this is it let me know if you like this video and feel free to like subscribe or just leave a comment if there is a video you would like me to cover next or if you have any questions i'm happy to help and i will see you in the next one